So I'm back with Dr. Keith Cantor. We're talking about his book, What Matters, and about these health, they're not health food bans, but uh, I guess sugary drinks and junk food and all those things that schools and states are doing. We left off, we wanted to talk about the state ban that New York has right now and kind of explain what they've done and is that going to work? How does that differ from on a larger scale? It affects everybody. Well, what they did is they banned the size of uh, sugary drinks. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think that's more political than it is uh, anything else. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, what we have to do is teach our children so we should put the emphasis on forcing our schools, since we pay for them, mm -hmm. to teach nutrition classes, mm -hmm. you know, what they call uh, health classes in, in grammar school and middle school and uh, high school, and bring back the gym classes, mm -hmm. and that'll do a lot more than banning the size of a, a sugary drink. Mm -hmm. There you go. Talk about um, obesity and rising medical costs. Well, obesity is a huge problem in the United States. Uh, statistics show, government studies show, that by the year 2020, 50% of the uh, population, including our children, mm -hmm. will be obese. And along with that goes diabetes, because mm -hmm. they go hand in hand. And by 2020, if we don't do something, 40% of our population will have diabetes. Wow. It's incredible. And I mean, that along with heart problems, I mean, there's a ton of stuff that goes along with that. That's correct. Mm -hmm. it, and it's putting such an enormous drain on our uh, health care mm -hmm. system that things like Obamacare don't affect that. And that's what we really have to do. We have to go back to the basics mm -hmm. and prevent the diseases before they occur. And the only way to do that is through education, not by mandates and bans. Right. I think some people want a quick fix and they don't want to put in the time and the effort that just, you know, simply by eating well and exercising and along with that education to know how to do those things is kind of the answer. That's right. On uh, my site, KeithCantor.com, if you go under resources, there's a lot of different health reports and it shows the relationship between proper nutrition and just about every major uh, disease there is. But in terms of cost, if you live a healthy lifestyle and keep your weight down, mm -hmm. it saves the healthcare system $190,000 per person. Wow just from uh, the difference between being obese and having a normal weight. Incredible. Per person. Well, again, you can go to KeithCantor.com. If people are interested in purchasing your book, where can they go? They could go to the website, KeithCantor.com, or you could just go to Amazon.com. All right, fantastic. We appreciate you being here this morning and uh, offering these, uh, these words of advice to us, some great thoughts there. Thank you very much for having me. All right, you guys stick around. We'll be back with more Good Day. Welcome back, everybody. We are talking with Dr. Keith Cantor. He had a book come out just this October. It's called What Matters. And uh, it's all about, you know, uh, how taking hold of some of the things that we're teaching our kids and these uh, health bans and things that they're doing, do they really work? So we want to know what this book, tell us details about what, what's in it. Well, you know, part of it is uh, leadership values that I think will help save the country. Mm -hmm. But uh, a big part of it is about how to solve the health care crisis. Mm -hmm and proper nutrition and fitness and proper supplementation will make a huge impact on the health care crisis. Mm -hmm. But I don't think banning food or specific types of food is going to have those type of effects that they want. So let's talk first about the schools and they're trying to kind of, you know, bring in more fruits and vegetables, which is good, you know, because we want to sure. eat nutritional things. But um, why do you think kind of, you know, getting rid of those Oreos, getting rid of the snack machines, what are your thoughts on that? Well. Our children are smart. Each generation is smarter than the next genera mm -hmm. the previous generation. But if we don't teach our children nutrition and why something is bad and why something else is better for them mm -hmm. and what the consequences are, and we just ban it, then, you know, like children of all ages, right. if you just say you can't have something, then they want it more. Mm -hmm. So we have to educate them. And right now, unfortunately, we don't teach nutrition. Mm -hmm in uh, our schools anymore. So and we true. took away the gym classes in mm -hmm. the schools anymore. That's wild. I'm astounded that some people have done that too. And the recesses even I've heard have been taken away at some points too. So that's so sad to me. And um, But you know just instead of just saying no because I said so, you need to teach them why. That's right. You have to teach them how to 
read a, a label. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously you have to make it simpler when uh, the children are younger and make it more sophisticated as they go through school. Mm -hmm. But when they're young, I think it's important for them to know why an apple is better than a cupcake. Yeah. And, and it, we don't it is. teach no, them. That. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we don't teach them uh, that. Right now, they a cupcake is a reward, mm -hmm. so that makes it a good thing. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not teaching our children. We're not going through the process of educating them. And if we did, they would make the right choices mm -hmm. if they truly understood it. There you go. And then on to um, the, the state bans. We'll get to those in just a little bit. If you guys want more information, you can go to KeithCantor.com. We'll be back talking with him about the state ban and also um, the rising medical cost uh, and what health and nutrition has to do with that. So stick around on over to Chris.